Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bleach Brain Falls. All right guys, so in the last few days, we've gotten a lot of news about the game. And you know, individually, I, these news items, I don't think they warranted separate videos, but uh, collectively, I think they do. So I'm gonna attempt to consolidate all the new information into one video so it's easier for you to uh, sort through. All right, so uh, we're gonna start off with the latest patch 4.1 update that has come out. And guys, this has brought a lot of minor changes uh, to the game, but they, there are changes which kind of improve uh, our quality of life. So uh, off the rip, you can see here, we have a new loading screen, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there's also another version of this loading screen, which has the espadas on it. So, um, you know, I guess it's just random which one pops up. So if we head over to the news page, we'll see the uh, version 4.1 update article. And uh, this details some of the changes, but not all of them. Um, what's not on here, guys, is the um, the buff to the Crystal Drop Soul Link, which is now actually working. So um, I did a separate video on that because I felt it was uh, it was newsworthy. So um, if you uh, want more details on the Crystal Link upgrades, go check that out. I'll link it in the description. Um, basically, all it means is that the Crystal Drop Soul uh, Soul Links work properly now and um, they're very uh, they're very they are very much more effective so um, yeah use crystal drop links if you're farming crystals or frenzy crystals or uh, jewels um, also guys we can now filter our character lists by their soul trait which uh, you know if you're a new newer player that might not be terribly useful to you but if you're like an older player uh, and you have a lot of links this is extremely helpful when you set up your characters. So the characters will be listed by you know normal attack damage, and you'll have all your normal attack damage links there, and strong attack links, and then so forth and so forth. So another great change, a minor change, but um, very very quality of life uh, um, positive. Um, the next change that they talk about is the character level will now turn green when their soul trait uh, soul tree excuse me is at 100%. So. Uh, if we look at that, guys, I'll show you. I'll show you an image. Um, all the characters that you have at 100% on the soul tree are now uh, listed with green test text. So uh, again, it's another very minor update, but it does help to help you to see which characters are uh, maxed out and which ones aren't. Uh, here's another one, guys. The time taken to display the screen that appears before a boss fight will no longer count towards your time for a quest. So the screen where it shows the, the image of the boss and then it says boss battle, uh, that in the past used to count against your time to clear a mission. Now it no longer does. I mean, this could be potentially helpful in quests like the nightmare mode where uh, it's limited by a very short period of time or even in the story missions for new players. Uh, if you're a new player and you're struggling to uh, complete a mission under three minutes, uh, this will help you out a little bit. And uh, if you take that off your time, it could make a difference. Uh, there have been many times in the past when I was starting out that you know I would get three minutes and two seconds completed on a quest, and then I'd be like, oh man, now I have to do it again. But uh, now that they've taken off that time for that loading screen, um, you know, that might make a difference. So again, another minor detail, but very welcome in my opinion. And uh, the next thing is the new title screen is added. I've already shown you that, which is another great uh, aesthetic thing. Um, you know, we've had that original loading screen for over a year now, so it's about time they changed it up a little bit. Uh, and uh, the last item on this 4.1 patch list is the uh, linked characters appearing as options for Ascension fodder, which is, uh, I haven't experienced that myself. If it was a bug, I'm glad that they fixed it. Uh, no one wants to... Uh, accidentally use uh, a character they need for ascension. All right guys, so other than that, uh, they've also buffed some of the soul traits on the older characters. Uh, you can see the list here. This is also available for you to look at in game. Uh, to my knowledge, it hasn't been implemented yet, but it should be implemented very soon. And uh, the one worth noting is the six star Grimjo. He's had his soul trait increased from pl plus 40 attack to plus 100. And guys, that's a lot. Uh, that is actually, you know, it could change up the meta a little bit. Um, plus 100 attack for a lot of characters is equivalent to, you know, a 20% uh, attack love. So, um, if you do have 6 star Grimjo, he's getting some love. Uh, some of the other characters are getting their uh, attack but boosted up to 40, plus 40 uh, as well, which is, you know, it's not that significant, but it, it does help them out a little bit. The Grimjo, though, by far is a really good soul trade now. 100 attack. So like I said, for most characters, plus 100 attack is the equivalent of a, um, a three-star glove. So uh, it gives you more options in building your characters. 
And finally guys, with the 4.1 update, uh, these three characters are getting adjustments to their balance. Momo, the Soul Reaper Momo, is getting an adjustment to her third strong attack recharge time. So I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit faster on the recharge. Uh, the Soul Reaper Academy Renji is getting a chance to burn enemies on his first strong attack. And the 5 star Green Genryusai is also getting a chance to burn, uh, although this one is added to his third strong attack. So I mean, there's another few minor details, but it will help these particular characters out quite substantially. And it's good to see K-Lab uh, going back and, you know, making changes to some characters that were a little bit on the weak side. So next guys, let's go into the news that was released on the uh, K-Lab Game Station livestream. Uh, they gave us information on some of the new events that are coming up. So the first thing they talked about, guys, is the next event on the global server, which is this one here. Uh, it's called the Men's Soul Reaper Association Operation Fundraising. Uh, you know, it seems like it's going to be a pretty standard event, with the exception of the fact that it drops a four-star Omega, and the four-star Omega will have an increased coin drop soul trait. So you're definitely going to want to get at least three of these Omegas and max out the soul trait. Uh, so you ha so you can use them in your coin farming team. So uh, once this event comes out, we'll have two different four star characters that have increased uh, coin drop. Also, they mentioned that there will be another nightmare mode event uh, coming out. So uh, I'm assuming it will be just like the other ones we've had. Uh, it's going to require a lot of strategy and going to have to have good characters with good accessories to complete them and uh, it's going to be geared towards uh, more uh, established players so I mean you know if you're a new player you're not going to be able to complete these um, but if you're an old player it's another challenge you can look forward to and finally guys there's going to be two new raids at the end of the month one for Ichigo and one for Okiora and you're going to need these characters to uh, do the soul trees on uh, full hollow Ichigo and Segunda Etapa Okiora who are getting their six stars at the end of the month as well. So that's another bunch of orbs uh, we can get there for those characters and for those missions. Uh, looks like we have a lot of stuff coming up for Global uh, in the next week or so. All right, so now that we've gone over all the stuff that's happening in the immediate future, let's talk about some of the things that are gonna be introduced to the game uh, a little bit further down the road. So first of all, it's been revealed finally that the Metal Exchange characters are going to receive six star upgrades. Uh, we don't have a timetable for this, uh, it's not going to be anytime soon because it has to come out on JP first, but uh, it's something to look forward to if you have Metal Exchange characters or if you want them. They're going to be usable again, they're going to be relevant. Uh, six, the ones that they mentioned were uh, 6 star Cone and 6 star Ichigo, the free ones we, re we received for New Year's. Um, but there's also information that leads, us, leads me to believe that we're going to get Zangetsu and Toshiro as well. So that's pretty exciting guys, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people are going to want to use these uh, Metal Exchange characters in PvP or PvE. And now you can because they're going to receive 6 star upgrades. You know, I don't know how good they'll be, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to be, you know, not top tier characters. But they'll be usable if you want to, if you want to run Don Kenoji in a raid, you know, you can do that. If you want to run Cone in PvP, you can do that. Uh, there's a lot of great characters in the Metal Exchange that, uh, you know, kind of have been pushed to the, uh, irrelevant corner um, so it's good to see them getting an upgrade um, you know I kind of expected this to happen eventually but now it has been confirmed so um, once again guys there's no timetable for that only that it's gonna be happening in the uh, in the future so uh, look forward to that also on the K-Lab uh, Brave Souls live stream they mentioned that there's gonna be another metal exchange character uh, coming out for Japan and it's gonna be a plush Rukia so if you watch the full burger arc of the bleach anime uh, there's a scene where uh, Rukia is fighting Riruka, and uh, Riruka turns uh, Rukia into a plush doll. And we're gonna get that character, which is kind of fun. Uh, they didn't show any gameplay of it, but they showed the uh, character screen, which you can see there. And uh, it looks pretty exciting, guys. I know Rukia is a fan favorite, and uh, this character is bound to be very popular. Alright, so that about covers all the uh, official sources of information. Um, there is an image that has been posted on Reddit. Uh, detailing the next double chance gotcha on Japan and apparently guys it's going to be full bring Kenpachi, full bring Toshiro, uh, full bring Ikaku and a four star Ginjo in his base form. This image from the reddit is all we have to go on but uh, I'm, it's safe to say that these characters are confirmed uh, should be available on JP at the end of this month and I'm assuming they'll be available on global at the end of February. All right. 
So that about wraps it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed. You know, I could have broken down this information into several separate videos, but um, individually, these news items I don't feel would warrant separate videos, but um, collectively, they do. So um, once again, guys, I hope this helped you out. I hope uh, I hope you have something to be excited for, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.